Hey, I'm Noodle Yeti, and I believe this is the 10th part in a series I'm doing where I build a city called Westdale. I can't remember exactly what I did last time, it's been a little while, but I think I had hit the milestone and I'm not quite sure all of what I implemented. I think I even worked a little bit on the industry. I can't remember, but what I do remember is that there's a few things I'd like to do this time around. One of them is implementing an intercity bus station. The next would be implementing a few neighborhoods for high density apartment buildings. Now, I don't think we're at a place where I'd want those to level up into these giant high density buildings. So if I do place them down, I think I'm going to make them historic so they keep their smaller stature. And the last thing I'd like to do is actually build a trade school. We, I believe, unlocked universities at the last milestone, and we haven't put any down. And instead of putting in the normal universities, which only cost us money, I'd like to put in the trade school campus, which has the potential of earning us a little bit of money. I'm not going to go crazy and do this giant trade school. I'm happy with level one or level two trade schools, so I think that's where I'm going to leave it once, once it's in. The first one, which was the public transportation, the intercity bus station. I think I'm going to put it right over here across the way from this industry in this little corner area here. I already regret putting my city services on this side. I wish I put them on the opposite side so that way I could put the intercity bus over here. But there's a couple reasons why I guess I'm okay with it being on the right side over here. For instance, we're going to have to extend the tram network all the way down. And I really don't want the tram network in conflict with this highway interchange over here. So if we cut it short over here into this little square, that's perfectly fine. The tram won't conflict and everything will be okay. As for the high density, I think I've already shown this blank space over here. Now I've learned a couple things about the heart of Korea low density like this. The low density looks like high density, so I think it'll fit neatly together if we put some high density in here. However, towards this side, towards the neighborhood, I think I'm going to make these ones historical so that way they stay kind of small and I'm going to have to keep my eye on the rest of it and determine when or if I'd like to make these ones historical on this side, just so that way they don't get too ridiculously tall. I don't know how tall they get, so it'll be kind of a learning experience for me. I think I've mentioned at least once or twice that I was thinking potentially about turning this into like a local bus station kind of area. I've sat down and thought about it and I've looked at it. And if we get out of this and we look at our bus stops, we only have two lines through here. Well, technically four, but they're going in opposite directions. And I don't think that's worth having a whole little bus station area over here. Having to pull these lines into this little neighborhood here. I just, I don't see that as feasible. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually turn this into an apartment complex over here. I'm just going to go ahead and make it historical right off the bat. Just so that way it keeps that low density look to it. Now with the trade school, I was also thinking about adding in some housing for it as well. And I'm thinking right over here, right in this little area, I'm going to divide this up again. And oh my goodness, this road is not straight. All right, so now that that road is straight, I was actually thinking about putting one more division in here just so we can put in a little bit more city services, but also putting in some apartment complexes over here for the trade school. And as for where the trade school is going to go, I think we're going to have to lay out maybe one or two major roads over here, plan them out with some dirt roads. But I was thinking somehow fitting it in here. So that way it's right next to the apartment complexes across the street. We can pretend that's like the like a off campus student housing. But I wanted to pretend that these industries over here for oil and minerals or oil and mining are kind of like the extension of this where they get their hands on practice at. So having it 
right across the main road and having their housing right here next to all the city services. I really think it would, I think it would do great right here. Like I said, I don't want anything too big with it. Just kind of something minor. But yeah, I think to start, just so we're getting into something, I'm going to go ahead and do the public transportation. So I will be right back. this down well I mean I put it down I don't know if I have it down or not but oh look at that so I put our inner city bus station over here and I've given them kind of a way to skip the roundabout over here I think on your own you're not gonna be able to get the bus highway to tee off into another highway you have to use a dirt road teeing off into it I think I'll I think I'll leave that in for the time lapse just so that way you can see how that was done but yeah, I've kind of got this giant area with a park in front of it. I was really tempted to put a mix of like offices, residential and things like that here. But when I was looking at the area as a whole, I felt like that would just be really out of place. And so I decided against it. So instead, in front of the tram stop over here, I put all sorts of high density commercial. Or not high density commercial. Well, I mean, I zoned it in as high density, but I also put the leisure specialization on it. So we, you can see we got a couple. Oh, that's loud. So you can see we got a couple other buildings in here. But I wanted to have a reason for people to come over here in the first place. And I just feel it's kind of nice. Maybe, you know, you're waiting for your bus. So you come over here and you chill out at the record store. or what? It, what is this? It looks like a club or something. I don't know. You're just kind of hanging out before you leave on the bus. And then I put a park across from it. Several parks. I didn't do the actual Park Life DLC for this one, although I did use its fence. I got a small playground in case people got kids or something. I got a plaza where they could eat their lunch. And then I got a dog park in case they're traveling with their pets. But yeah, I just kind of kept it small and I moved the tram over here. And I've actually added another way for people to get all the way across town. As you can see, the green lines on the side of the road, those are bike lanes. And so I've extended the bike lane all the way downtown, all the way into this other commercial area over here. So technically, if you really wanted to, you could bike across the city. Something else I've done is if we come into our... Oops, tram stop view here. You can see I've pulled the tram line out away from the city hall over here. And I've actually added stops on both sides. So that way you can get on going in either direction now. And I did that in front of these warehouses over here. And also in front of this industry as well as just a singular stop over here. 
I'm still kind of at a loss at how this area is going to develop and fill out in the future, but I'm, I'm sure I'll figure something out. It's just kind of... I'm feeling very uninspired with how I'd like this area to grow out. I kind of wanted to take a moment to talk about the warehousing. I think a moment I mentioned earlier that that the warehousing didn't work the way I wanted it to, and I've kind of gone back on my own mode of thinking, where before I wanted all of our industry to go through warehousing both in and out of the city. But the more I thought about that, the more I realized how, I guess, I'm not quite sure if it's, this is the right word, but I guess dystopian or how over controlling I would be with that. And if by putting each of these down, I'm essentially saying that each of these are their own business or something, their own importing and exporting company, each farm is their own, each processor is their own. And once I started thinking about it in that way, it kind of makes sense. If they wanted to import something from outside the city, maybe it's a better product, allow them to do it. I was kind of able, anyways, that's just a small note of how I was able to resolve within myself not having the ability to control warehousing and industry. All right, and then let's see what's next on the list. We got our transportation updated to go all the way down across the entire town. Oh, that's right, the high density. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and zone a couple places in here. I'll probably just snap to when I'm laying out the roads over in here, and then I'll kind of quickly mention what happened. Geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute. Residents should take precautionary measures. Geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute. Residents should take precautionary measures. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. All right, well, on that note, I think I need to focus on some of these city services. I think... I, well, I don't think... I mean, I, well, I do think, but what I'm trying to say is, is that uh, I've been neglecting the city services. But before we get into that, I wanted to kind of touch on the neighborhoods I've built and placed down. If we come over here into the middle of our Heart of Korea area, I guess Heart of Korea doesn't have high density from what it looks like. <laughs> their low density looks like high density and then their high density looks... I, well, I don't even think it is high density. But so I did wall to wall high density in here and I really like the way it looks. If you look straight down from the top, it looks like they have their own kind of little plaza or relaxation area in the middle. I think it looks really nice. And I've only... 
made two of these buildings historical on this side. A couple of these other ones have made it to level two, like this one here, but it hasn't changed. So I don't know if these buildings act actually look different when they level up. Oh, looks like we're dealing with death, but I just fixed our death care, so we just have to wait for those to get cleaned up. Maybe we need more death care. Let's see here. 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Yeah, I think we need a little bit more. One second. All right. Added a little bit more capacity to our ability to process the deceased. Oh, what do you know? Daffodil drilling area has reached level three. Is that the oil? Yeah, large oil pump. So we get another unique factory. We get the toy factory. That's pretty neat. So in the future, whenever we're worried about income, we now have more unique factories to worry about. But I think as I was saying, I don't think these wall-to-wall -wall high density ones actually look different as they level up. I think they keep the same look anyways, but I'll find out as they level up some more. I think what's preventing them from leveling up more is some of our city services are now lacking. And then over here, off to the right, I've got a bunch of regular apartment buildings over here with no, no theme or anything like that. And I've added alleyways behind them because to me it kind of made sense, especially since they have a lot of them have parking in the back. So I just wanted to add that in. And I left over here blank because after all, so the left here, we do have all of the upper management. And I doubt the upper management wants to constantly look in at the backside of apartment complexes every day. So left this blank so we could put in some walls, put in a bunch of trees, just so we can kind of hide this apartment complex residential area from them. As far as student housing over here, I think I made a mistake. I did the eco-friendly homes in a high density, and I think this is just absurdly huge. I think it's just going to be out of place. It's just going to be way out of place, I think. So originally, I only wanted to do like a level one or level two education area for the trade school over here. And I think that's kind of being forced into something bigger because of how much student housing. Well, it's not actually student housing, but in our minds it is. Because of how much of that I've added over here, I think I'm going to have to either do multiple different campus areas over here or go and do a larger trade school. I'm not too happy that I've kind of pigeonholed myself into that, but it'll be all right. Another thing I wanted to comment on was the general road layout I did for the main roads over here. I really don't like the way it looks, but I'm going to be honest, this whole right half of the city, I don't like the way any of this looks, but I'll be honest with you, I didn't like the way the whole left half of the city over here looked, but as it started to fill in and I've added trees and pathways and whatnot all through here, I think it's starting to look a lot better. So I think as this side grows and fills out, I'll start to like it a little bit more. But I made this road right here coming off the roundabout turn right into the highway here because I want this to eventually turn into a bridge to be kind of a local connection over to the other side. We've already established that we want this one right here to turn into a bridge to be a local connection over. And so to prevent it, the other side from being a giant cul-de-sac, we'll have two local connections. And then I think I've mentioned before that I want to turn this three-way interchange into a four-way interchange. Kind of a four-way interchange. I think it'll be kind of limited in where it can and go and whatnot. And it'll come right up this way into the other side. So that'll give it a highway access. And then in the future, when we build or purchase the tile over here, we can add another highway access along over there. So yeah, that's just kind of my idea with why that one is the one I chose to go through and over the freeway. And also, if there is any industry on the other side, they'll easily be able to come down here, hit the roundabout, go through here, right into warehousing, and then right across the street from warehousing, we'll have all of our cargo exporting for train and plane. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get into, I think, the U city utilities. I think that's what I'm going to do next, is I'm going to make sure all of our utilities are up to par. All right, be right back. 
All right, so I've gone through the city and added quite a few services around town, starting with education. So I've added a community school over here. So I'm thinking about this area right over here kind of being the other education. And the reason why I did the community school is because it's not exactly an elementary, even though it says it a small elementary school. Oh, look at that. Chester Ore Products has reached level two. So we get its first unique building, which only requires mining products. So that's actually kind of cool. If we need to worry about income, I think that'll be the next one we implement or the level one oil. Oh, no, I think we already did the level one oil. So we can go ahead and do this level one mining one next. But yeah, so the reason why I did the community school is because of its name, even though it says elementary and I think in the description it says for children. It reminds me of kind of like what we call like a continuation school here in where I'm from or adult educator, continuing education, those kind of schools where you're an adult who comes in and gets the education you might have missed out when you were younger. So I'm thinking about doing that stuff over here in this area, and you can find those in your education tab all the way at the end. You have the community school, the Institute of Creative Arts, and I, I'm not going to do the Modern Technology Institute, but these other two, absolutely kind of a way to bridge the gap for adults who are trying to eventually get into the trade school but need more education. I put that over here. I've also added a post office right over here next door. We are starting to fall behind on that and continuing in the same theme of the post office. I've added the post sorting facility over here by the level one oil factory. I think it kind of fits. It looks very similar. So I think just them being next to each other just kind of looks nice. And both of those have really upped our mail processing. So while I was sitting there looking at the land view of mail, there was quite a few red buildings. And as soon as I put those two down, instantly they all started going blue. And I saw all the little green arrows from homes upgrading, which also probably could have been from the elementary school that I put in first because we were severely behind. Well, if I pull this up now, you'll see we're still behind, but before we only had a capacity of 300, and I think it said we had like 900 eligible, so we were absolutely far behind. I don't mind being this far behind, but it is what it is. Another thing I did is I put a firehouse over here. So high density, as I've learned, actually requires even more fire coverage than normal. And I chose this particular fire station because I felt like it fit with the theme or aesthetics of this commercial area in front of it. And over here in the medical area or medical area <laughs> to help cover some of the medical we needed because we were around 77% or 76, somewhere around 75% of our average citizen health. So I'm going to pull up the health view. And now we're around 83 just from putting her in this one medical clinic over here. And I've chose this one because I think this particular building design just looks really cool with the trees and all that behind it. I think it just fits. It looks like a building that would be in the forest. And so I thought it was a great idea. However, but you can see a green cross on the front of this building. And I don't know about where you live in the world, but where I live, here in Southern California, Los Angeles. A green cross represents a dispensary. So <laughs> that wasn't the vibe I was going for when putting this particular building down. However, I decided to just go with the theme and I renamed it to that medical dispensary. I also went through and upgraded a few of these roads in here. Now, it's going to be impossible to upgrade all of them. For instance, this one stopped here because I can't keep upgrading down because of just how the buildings are located. And I ran into some trouble around the windmill, so you can kind of see this road looks funny. I didn't want to leave just this one little stretch of dirt road here, so I kind of... I did the best I could. I think we're just going to have to accept the ugliness there and ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist. And then as for other city services, if we go over here, I added in another fire safety center to kind of help cover this end of town over here. This area was struggling a little bit. And I tried to upgrade the roads in here because I noticed it was actually the roads that were preventing this side of the 
city services from being covered by fire, even when it's right here. But unfortunately, where we decided to put the bus station here, it's actually preventing me from upgrading the roads behind it. So that's unfortunate. We have, we're stuck pretty much right here like this. I had to redraw this road in front of it, but that's all right. Actually, I think I had to redraw both. And I can't remember if I put down any other city services. I really don't believe so. I think that was everything. I mean, obviously, besides the two new cemeteries, because, you know, our city is starting to expand. But we are going to be destroying those again and again and again. Okay, I think that's all for our city services that I've taken care of. And I think we're ready to move into laying out the kind of university, higher education area over here. I'd like to start with the trade school, because I think that's all we have if we come in here. Yeah, liberal arts starts at 17,000 and an actual university starts at 34,000. So we can only do our trade school. And I think that's perfectly fine, given the fact that most of our industry is all actual industry. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just be right back and get into that. Oh my goodness. All right, so while we were laying that out, apparently we hit the small city. I guess all those high density buildings, oops, excuse me. I guess all those high density buildings upgrading pushed us into the next milestone. Pretty cool. What do we get? We get level six unique trains, monorail. All right, so trains is the one I'm excited about, apparently, if you didn't notice. All right, let's keep looking down here. Cargo train terminal. Okay, perfect. Excellent. I think uh, it's not something I'm going to do this this part or this episode, but that is for sure on the agenda for next episode. Cargo train terminal. Absolutely. I'm actually surprised we're getting this as soon as we get trains, considering that air transport didn't give us any way to get our goods out and shipping doesn't come until a lot later. All right. Well, I'm excited for the cargo train terminal. I think that's what I'm going to do next time. As of now, we've just got to finish out our education area over here.
All right, so I've got our trade school over here laid out. I put down a couple of redundant or one redundant building. I have two book clubs here, but that's because I was trying to hit the next campus attractiveness level. And I was just falling short with everything else I was doing. And it turns out after a little bit of research that parks and things like that don't add to its attractiveness level for some reason. I don't know why or even plazas, so I have to deal with what I got. There was another university trade school building I could have put down, which was this one over here, the police academy. However, I feel like for a city of our size, having a police academy kind of feeds into a vibe that I'm not really wanting. I don't really want to promote that whole police state kind of thing. I mean, I get the importance of police, but it's not what I was going for with this. So. I'm not going to put down the police academy. I'll probably save that until we're at a very, at a much higher, at a much higher level or not level, but much higher population. We yeah, have got two barracks. We have a student capacity of, I think, 1100 and already we're making money off of this. So it costs us 1100 in expenses, popular or capacity of 1100, but we earn about 1900, which is pretty cool. If we go into academic works, I funded artisanry, which is, if you don't know art, artisanry, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but it's basically work that you do with your hands. So like culinary arts, welding, things like that. Woodworking, carpentry. So basically I'm funding the trade school to get better at that. And I'm just happy that we're not bleeding money by putting down a regular in-game university instead we're actually making a few hundred bucks which is kind of cool i think that's about everything i'd like to do in this episode or this part we've got our trade school down which adds and takes care of our university needs we've got a few new neighborhoods down and we've helped covered some of our city's basic needs its basic services I think looking at it, the trade school area, I'm okay with. And I do like that I've left room over here for both a liberal arts campus and a regular university campus. I think that'll really help fill that out and make it look a lot prettier. I think the only thing I regret from today is this particular high density student, supposedly student housing area. I feel like the buildings are just way too tall and I feel like it's pigeonholed me into creating this massive university campus over here. And I really didn't like that, but it is what it is and I have to live with what I've done. So we're just going to have to build around this and hopefully it turns out okay. We've got our little wall to wall over here. And as you can see, they're just barely taller than the Heart of Korea buildings next to them, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to kind of go from smaller to larger. And as all these buildings level up, it'll start to look like that. And we've even got our kind of like a little bit of an apartment complex over here with their alleyways behind them. And I think it just looks really nice. They're not incredibly tall. They're not way taller than any of the buildings around them. So I don't feel like it stands out like the student housing area. But yeah, I'm really happy with where we're at besides this. Yeah, I'm just happy with where we're at. And I think for the next part, I'm going to be doing the cargo train terminal and expanding our industry to include more unique factories. We do have to take care of our commercial demand. It is definitely starting to rise by quite a bit. If we look at this, it is almost capped out. So we absolutely have to focus on that as well next episode, which I think will just be filling in some of these commercial blocks, maybe adding a couple of unique buildings to increase tourism and whatnot. I think we'd actually want to focus on this one over here by adding more commercial and roads and things like that and expanding the transportation in this area. So yeah, definitely on our mind is pretty much a little bit of everything, but I really want to focus mostly on the cargo train and the unique factories next time. So yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate your viewership and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. to
close to the edge now.